What's up? It's Master Aquatics once again, bringing you guys another video. Hope you guys are excited. Hope you guys are having a good weekend. Um, I've had a pretty good weekend. Um, I'm glad you guys are watching my videos. And uh, before we begin, I just have a huge favor to ask you guys. I know I'm asking for a lot, but please, please hit that thumbs up button. And also, please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed. And also leave a comment down below. And let me know what you guys think of the video. And uh, just let me know um, how your day is going and how you are doing. And um, I just love hearing from you guys. It really makes my day um yeah just let's let's interact let's get to know each other anyways um ah, all right i'm getting off topic i'm sorry guys i wanted to talk about breeding angelfish um i've been in this hobby for years and years and years i've been doing this for a long time and um but i just recently started breeding angelfish as of like two years ago and i I didn't know anything about breeding angelfish, you know, everything that I learned was from trial and error and from experience and um, a little bit was from watching videos on YouTube, but, you know, not a lot of people uh, put enough information in their, in their videos about breeding angelfish, at least not back then, like in 2014, like there is now. Now, if you go on YouTube, you can find a lot of like good videos on breeding angelfish, but back then, people wouldn't really show you and they wouldn't tell you, um, you know, little things about breeding angelfish that you would only know through trial and error. So I had to learn by, you know, making mistakes and just learning on my own. But um, there's two ways to get a breeding pair. There's two ways of getting an angelfish pair. One, you can just buy one. Um, I don't recommend that you do this. And the reason why is because um, if you buy a breeding pair, they're not guaranteed to lay eggs for you. They're not. Um, angelfish are complicated creatures and they breed only when they want to breed where they want to breed. So... You know, if you see a breeding pair somewhere and they're laying eggs, don't think just because you buy them and you take them to your tank, they're going to start laying eggs for you. It doesn't work like that. They might start laying eggs if you get lucky, but it might take them days, it might take them weeks, it might take them even years to do that. And there's also a possibility of them not laying eggs for you, period. So me personally, I would not buy a breeding pair. Um, unless I had the money and the time and uh, I had a backup pair. If I'm really wanting to breed angelfish and sell them on eBay. Um, so I recommend that you get a 75 gallon tank. And you get 8 angelfish to 10 angelfish um, around those numbers. And put them in a 75 gallon tank. And make sure you get them at a very small size like juvenile size. And just feed them three times a day. Feed them blood worms uh, and brine shrimp uh, once a week. And make sure you do your water changes once a week. You can do like a 25% water change once a week. Um, the, the water change is going to help them uh, grow. Um, because with that many angels in that tank, um, th they'll be okay. But um, the more water that's getting changed out in the tank, it gets rid of a lot of the hormones that the angels release that keeps them from growing and um, clean water promotes growth and that's what you want because um, when they get bigger the faster they get bigger um, the sooner they can start breeding for you so get eight to ten angelfish put them in a 75 gallon tank and just take care of them and uh, don't focus on them breeding you know don't put any pressure on it just just let them do their thing just enjoy them um, and then wait about six to ten months, and they're going to start laying eggs for you. Um, but keep in mind, before you do this, before you get the eight to ten angelfish, um, you are going to want to have a plan on what you are going to do with the ones that don't pair up with the other angelfish. Um, because if you don't have a plan for that, um, the angelfish are going to kill each other, and they are going to kill all the other fish in there. Um, because when angelfish start laying eggs together, um, they, 
will do everything to protect their fry and their eggs and that means killing the other fish that are in your tank so make sure you have a backup tank or make sure you know somebody that will um, buy them from you or just take them from you and uh, just make sure that you have a backup plan in case that happens um, but if you don't have a backup plan try to try to think of something before they start laying eggs you'll have plenty of time because it takes them about six to ten months to start laying eggs for you um, now when they start laying eggs and when you get a breeding pair um, and keep in mind you might get more than one breeding pair out of the eight or ten um, I got lucky and I had two breeding pairs hopefully the information given to you today was uh, pretty helpful um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you guys have any questions, uh, make sure you guys leave a comment down below. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, my name is Master Aquatics, and uh, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright, bye.